guys um this is my intro to my vlog so i've already been doing some reading and i've already been filming some uh whatchamacallit uh some footage of me reading this book um my vlog is gonna be on lolita so i am about about 80 pages into it and so far it is frigged up man it is really it is really weird and uh it makes me uncomfortable reading it honestly and i'm having a really hard time reading it like a really hard time um i don't know it's like a combination of the writing style and the content for sure um, I did download the audiobook though, so I'm going to uh, kind of switch between that and reading and maybe do some reading while I listen to it. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to pop on and, and do a quick intro and uh, get that ready and good to go, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, follow along and see me read Lolita and... Um, and we'll talk about it at the end. Hopefully I'll be done reading it in the next day or two. I've been saying that for the last like week that I was going to crush this in the day. But it is a hard, it's a hard, it's a hard book. So um, I'm going to try my best to try and finish it in the next little while here. And I'll bring you along with me. Okay. See you in a bit. Hey guys. So I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. Um, I'm going to be reading Lolita. Um, I just finished reading The Push, which I have right here. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of that. And uh, I'm not sure when I'll post that, but in the next little while. And um, so yeah, I'm going to take you along as I read Lolita and um giving my thoughts along the way should be should be an interesting one I like to read um at my computer desk sometimes so this is where i'm gonna read for a bit and uh get started on the lead up yeah um i should probably tell you a little backstory um uh i found so i'm reading this book because i plan on reading my dark vanessa and um i've been told that uh it this lady that comes up quite a bit in that um book and it, it would be beneficial to have read this book first i do know about this book i know what it's about um i don't know exactly the storyline or what the characters do and all that jazz i just know it's about a very inappropriate relationship and um yeah um i've got this book for four dollars at the secondhand bookstore and um i was shocked when i saw it absolutely shocked when i saw it because um i had like just spoke about it with my best friend who just ordered this book off amazon and um so it was really it was really cool to see that and um now, now i get to read it and yeah so let's do that let's do a little bit of review Um, so I'm taking a break from reading Lolita because I am also a photographer, not just a book reader. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be editing some boudoir. So I'm going to work on that for a little while and um, then probably go back to reading. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit.
Hello. Hi. How's it going? So I'm just outside of my husband's work. Um, his name is Jace, if you don't know. I was going to read... I don't know. I don't know. I usually come to his work like an hour early so I can just sit down and do some reading while I'm waiting. But I sometimes get distracted by my phone. <laughs> I think a lot of people can relate to that. Um, so uh, I did read a bit of Lolita last night and um, I tried reading a bit this morning and ended up having a nap. So yeah, um, if anything pops up interesting and I want to tell you about it, about this book. Oh, maybe I should talk about the book a little bit. Um, it's, so far it's just, I, I can't, I, I can't. Part of me likes the writing style though. Like it's, I, like I find that I really have to focus on it though. Um, it, like I said in my, the push review, um, it is, um, more of an advanced read, at least for me. It is also very messed up. It's messed up. It's super messed up. Like, this guy is describing, I think, from, like, 9 to 13, and he'll, he'll go as, young, like, as old as 17. And he calls them nymphs, or nymphettes, and it's just like, oh, cringe, cringe. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel weird reading this book, but what do you do? You, <laughs> I guess I couldn't read. I could just not read it. Um, that's something I could do, but I, I really would like to be able to say that I read Lolita and I can give a, a solid opinion on it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Uh, I'm t I'm, I got a free afternoon today. And then um, I got some stuff to do tonight. We're having an early supper. So I got to cook that. I'm making steak and asparagus. And um, Caesar salad. And um, yeah, it should be good. Should be all right. Okay, well, I'll check in with you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, so I just got home. It was a busy night, and I'm going to sit down and read some Lolita. I am super behind on it. I thought I'd be much further in it than I am now, so it is what it is, I suppose. But, um, I'm also gonna have a drink while I, uh, while I read it. So, um, yeah. Um, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Um, I've been drinking these, uh, bumper crop BC Craft Ciders in, oops, in Stone Fruit, and, <laughs> sorry my cats, and I've been really enjoying these, I, I tried these last summer, and, yeah, 10 out of 10, would recommend, Sadie, Sadie Dog, Sadie Dog, are you comfy? Are you comfy dog? Good morning. Almost afternoon. I, uh, I'm very tired today. Um, so I have to take these pills, this, this medication at nighttime. And if I take it too late, it makes me so tired the next day. So I'm super tired right now, but I, um, got my coffee and, um, I'm gonna do some editing today. I gotta work on some boudoir stuff that I have um, backlogged, and then I'm gonna do some reading. And yeah, so that's my day today. It is Tuesday. Um, I started reading Lolita last week. Uh, I'm gonna try and get through a lot of it today. Um, 
we'll see how it goes. Uh, I got a lot of photography stuff I need to focus on, so um, spend the majority of the day doing that. And listening, I'm going to be listening to some audiobooks. Um, so yeah, should be good. I'm excited. And yeah, here we go. Hey guys, I, uh, I just finished Lolita. Um, I finished it as an audiobook. Um, I will be doing a wrap up of my vlog. I just wanted to check in and let you know that I just finished it and I have some thoughts that I will share with you um, once I can get it all sorted out. Um, I will hopefully be posting it tomorrow afternoon, on, which means nothing to you right now, but um, if you're watching this, it's because I uploaded it. <laughs> okay, um, I'll see you guys for my final thoughts in a second. Hi! Hi! How's it going? It's good to see you. So, this is my wrap up of Lolita. I finished it last night and I have some thoughts uh, that are all the way over there and my cat is being a dick. And then you can probably hear my dog whining. So, there's a lot of chaotic energy going on right here. Um, let's just jump into Lolita. Um, Alright, so this book is like written as like a memoir um, with a foreword by a fictional psychiatrist or PhD. Um, Lolita or the Confession of a White Widowed Male. Um, so... This book, man, this book was really hard to read. Um, what else can I tell you about it? So, um, it's about this guy named Humbert Humbert. That's his name. Um, it's like a pseudo name. And he uh, uh, moves to America um, and moves in with this woman, Charlotte and her daughter and he's renting a room in their house oh my god my cat anyways um and he falls in love with her daughter her 12 year old daughter uh dolores and uh and, and, it, and it's basically a story about that um i don't think this is a spoiler but charlotte dies and um humbert takes lolita uh, Dolores, he calls her Lolita, and they drive across America and uh, up and down and throughout the United States until they settle down. Um, this book is a very, I don't understand why people think this is like a love story. Like, I felt so so bad for Lolita the whole time I was reading this, and I listened to it too. Um, she was clearly being abused and she was lashing out in so many different ways and she was having issues with boys at school and just school in general and you could tell that she was going through a lot considering the the context of the story and i just i didn't this was a really sad book it was so sad and her life in the end is I don't know how to how to tell you without spoiling it, but it doesn't end well for either uh, Lolita or Humbert. So I rated this book 2.5, three stars. I liked it. Um, the writing style for me was difficult. I would say this is more of an advanced read. Um, it wasn't as engaging as I'd like it my books to be but I think it's because it's quite an older book this was published in 1955 so it's it's an older book um, 
yeah, that's basically it for my wrap up. Um, oh my god, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, you know, oh my god, this cat. Take a sip of coffee here. Um, but like riding on the back of Lolita, I just started my Dark Vanessa, which right off the bat references Lolita. Like, so I mean, this is I'm I'm five percent into this book and it's already it's already just as disturbing as Lolita so I'm very interested to see how this goes and yeah that's my wrap up um, would I recommend Lolita to a friend probably not um, and if I did I tell him just get the audiobook and uh, and try not to puke in your mouth <laughs> so um, that's pretty much that um thank you so much for watching my video and um hopefully i get this up this afternoon um if you're seeing this on the 21st you know i did it okay thanks again um have a wonderful evening day night morning wherever you are i hope you're having a good time i'll see you later bye